We have Josh, the Ruthless Rebel Hayes, here at the Bulldog Fight Team, interviewing for MFL 31. How did you get your name, Josh? Uh, you know, uh, my wife actually picked a name out for me. Um, uh, I was fighting back in February, it tapped out, man. I was gonna go with Relentless Rebel. Uh, just because I don't never give up and then I seen they got a team and somebody already had the name So I had to come up with something else and my wife's like use Ruthless and I was like shit Ruthless Rebel that sounds just as good as You know relentless plus you know I love Pitbulls and Pitbulls got a reputation for being pretty ruthless so You know a lot of times I tell people I'm a Pitbull That's pretty much where they came from how old are you, Josh? I'm 33, man. <laughs> when did you start doing MMA? Uh, you know, I started out, man. I mean, like, officially, like, doing, like, MFL and these events, man. I just started out this year. But, you know, I've been attracted to mixed martial arts and uh, different arts and stuff my whole life since I was a kid. You know, uh, it's always been a passion of mine. I've always loved the martial art movies, all the Bruce Lee and the Kung Fu theater, and you know, that was always a big uh, passion of mine as a kid growing up. And you know, now I got kids, they were wrestling. I figured it'd be good for me to get back into it, you know, show them something what I did when I was a kid. I gave them Mikey from when I was a kid. And, you know, so, pretty much, you know, my whole life. So you just started training with uh, the Bulldog Fight Team? Yeah, I just started training with the Bulldog Fight Team this month. So yeah, I was out at Burio. I went up to Next Level a couple of times. Uh, I was hopping around for a little bit, man, but I think I found my home now. So it's a real good gym out here, man. It's, curriculum is great, man. The condition is great. Um, you get to train with a bunch of other active cage fighters. So I mean, you know, everything you're doing, man, is, you know, applicable in a real situation, you know what I mean? It's not just on the mat, it's in the service purpose when you go somewhere and you have to perform, you know. And it's great, I mean, the people are cool out here, man. They train hard, they work hard, they push you. I love it out here so far. Have you trained with Todd the Bulldog Brown yet? Have you got on the mat with him? Yeah, man, I, uh, I think, man, when I first got here, man, in uh, MMA training, he, uh, he threw me around a little bit, man. I don't know if he was, that was like an evaluation to see what I was made out of or what, but I think that was the first day I was here, man. He, uh, we did some wall work and uh, I guess throwing people to the ground and trying to get back up and come off the wall and not get thrown to the ground. So yeah, it was, it's, uh, it was, it's, you know, it's pretty cool getting this far with him because you know, he's been to UFC, he's a pro fighter, man. You get to, you know, I guess that's one of the benefits of coming out here too, man. You get to know a professional fighter that's actually been to the UFC and you know, you can talk to him. And all that, man. Could you say this would give you the edge in your next fight? Training uh, with Todd the Bulldog Brown himself? Uh, you know, uh, hopefully it gives me the edge to win my next fight. I mean, it's definitely given me something. Uh, um, you know, I'm still new to the sport and I'm still uh, fine-tuning all my skills and they're working with me a lot out here and pushing me out here. And I mean, I'm definitely going to be better than I've ever been for my next fight due to my training out here. So that's a definite yes. Uh, you fought at 205 and 185, is this correct? No, I fought, well, uh, well one fight was unofficial and I think I was like under 200, like 197 or something for that fight. And that was that tapped out, but my last fight for MFL I was like 204.4, so my opponent was like 237 I think. But, uh, what weight do you plan on fighting at? Um, I'm for the rest of your career. 
You know, I want to jump around a little bit because I want to show people that I can, that I got, you know, kind of, I guess, that much control over my body. I can go to this weight. I can go to this weight. I like to be able to jump around. I know it's a pretty big switch, but I like to be able to, with enough notice, fight, go from 205 to 170 and fight anywhere in that range. That's where I would like to, you know, be able to have enough. I mean, 170 was a hard cut for me to make. It's about a 30 pound cut. I walk around at about 200, so. But I'd like to get, you know, get down to that weight and fight at that weight too. There's some tough opponents at that weight. You know I mean? I'd like to, you know, try myself in that weight just to see where I stack up. And, you know, I'm pretty new. You know, I got one sanctioned fight, you know, two on a, or two total with one unofficial. And, I mean, I don't really think I got enough experience. I ain't got the feel to know what weight I'm most comfortable at fighting at. So, I mean, after, I would assume within the next year, after I get through four more fights, man, I'll have a better answer for that question. Your last fight was against Ryan Leachel, and you got the W. Uh, what would you tell your upcoming opponent for MFL 31? Um, uh, what I tell him, uh, I tell him to keep his nose clear and let me keep the element of surprise. Uh, um, no, man, honestly, man, I would tell him train hard because I train hard and when I get in that cage, I mean business, man. I mean, we can be cool, have a drink, whatever after that. But when I go in that cage, I go in that cage to, to win. And, Everything I trained for up until that point is going to come out and if you ain't got your shit together, you're going to feel the wrath of it and it's going to be pretty ruthless. So. What would you say to people as to why they wouldn't want to miss MFL 31? Oh, well, yeah, well, man, I mean, shit, I don't know if we've got enough time for all the reasons. The main reason is... Uh, There'll be some, uh, some, I mean, some of the top names in uh, the local MMA community is going to be there fighting. There's going to be like three title fights. It's going to be off the wall action all night, man. It's going to be uh, outside at Kovaleski Stadium, August 23rd, Friday night. I think the fight started at 8. I mean, it's just, I, it's probably going to be around 60 something degrees. It's going to be awesome weather. I mean, it's going to, they're going to have food, drinks. I, I mean, it's $25, it's gonna be an action-packed night, it'll take up your whole night. I mean, it'll entertain the whole family. There'll be people there uh, selling shirts. Some of the fighters will be walking around talking to people. I know I do myself. I walk around and interact with the fans and I stay and watch the fight. I got a lot of fighters that I'm fans of. I love watching their fights, uh, just the fights they put up in the heart, you know. They exhibit. I love watching, you know, a handful of people fight myself, and uh, just that's the main reason you don't want to miss it, man. It's gonna be nonstop action, and you're not gonna get a better show nowhere in the area. Till NFL has NFL 32, so.